you look back on, on the second half, obviously your, your trade partner gets, gets dealt on, on March 8th or whatever it was. How much of a monkey wrench did that sort of throw into what you guys are doing as a defense group for their season? Um, well, I, I mean, anytime uh, – you know, you have a guy like that get traded. It's obviously going to impact your your back end, and um, you know, walks was a big part of our our group here, and um, a, a big reason for the success we had. And um, um, but you know, Danny obviously uh, you know made made this decision because we're you know in a rebuild, and he thought that was the best for the team. And um, you know, you need to trust in that. And um, but it doesn't mean that it do didn't uh, you know obviously affect uh, the back end and um, obviously we play together um, the whole year but um, you know that's that's part of the the business that we're in and um, obviously uh, we missed him as a as a group but um, next man up mentality and uh, you know I thought the, the young guys did a really good job you know coming up and and stepping up for us when we had some injuries on the back end and and obviously the trade at deadline and um, so there's pot of positives there. Yeah, I mean, it means everything to me. Obviously, I've been, uh, you know, just fighting for that that contract my whole whole career, and um, you know, it's it's life changing. It, it means means the world to me to be in a place where, um, you know, I feel respected and and um, you know the direction this group's going. It's I'm so excited to be a part of it, and um, you know, to to get that contract extension this year, it was it, it meant the world to me. Nick, are you, you know, it's only, obviously, there's only one day since the end of the season. Are, are you able to, to look at the perspective now of, hey, hey, it went down to game 82, or is it still the, you know, the disappointment's a little too fresh? Yeah, it's a little fresh right now. Obviously, it's it's disappointing how things uh, played out this, you know, at the end of the year. But, um, you know, I'm sure when a few weeks go by and we'll look back on the season and, you know, game 82 was an important one. It was... It's important for for this group to 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 go th what through what we did, and um, especially for the young guys, and and knowing that you know every game is important, and you know think about how tight it was this in this race, and um, you know in hindsight you win a game here, win a game there, get one point, and you're in the playoffs. So um, I think it's important for the group as a whole, and especially the young guys to 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 play in these important games and. Um, I thought we did a really nice job bouncing back from that tough one in Montreal, and um, it kind of showed, you know, that we had no quit and resiliency that, you know, we've kind of shown all year. It, it's early, obviously, but does it almost make it exciting for the future and for next year at this point? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited uh, where this group's going, and um, so happy to be a part of it. And you know, just think of the strides that, um, you know, the a ton of guys on our team took this year. I mean, um, obviously the young guys, the young young forward group, but look, guys like Yorkie, I mean, he had a heck of a year and um, just proud of him for how, how he handled himself. He, he played like uh, a lot older guy than he is. I mean, what is he, 23 years old? He's playing uh, top minutes. He's blocking shots and and um, playing big minutes for us. And, um, you know, guys like Tice and, and – Tippy and and you know obviously I can go, go down the list but I, it's just um, we have a lot to look forward to in in this group and direction that Danny and Jonesy are, are bringing us in and uh, oh sorry no 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 I was almost done Charlie yeah that's all right um, but no I'm 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 extremely excited for it yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. I think, you know, I think with any team, there, there's going to be at this time of year, it's going to be banged up and and fighting through stuff, and um, especially our top guys. I think, you know, obviously Sandy and, and York are playing a ton of minutes, and 
and um, but you know they played really really well uh, with those minutes and um, you know I, I it's 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 tough to you know sit here and say yeah we we're banged up but um, every, everyone's banged up you know it's it's something that you have to work through um, mentally and and just be able to push through the those physical ailments or whatever you're going through and, and the best you can and and go out there and, and do your job and I thought. Um, you know, like I said, the last three games, we, we really came together as a group and, and played well. Do you think uh, your pair with Jamie Drysdale can be something to work on, Nick, in the future? Yeah, for sure. I think, um, obviously, we had that tough one in Montreal. and um, But, uh, you know, I thought we, we played well together, the, the, you know, the three games after that and just kind of started trusting each other a little bit more. I think as we play play together more and more, I think the reads and, and – um, you know, staying connected is going to be better and better. Uh, obviously, I was with walks and for for that whole, you know, most of the year, and and you really didn't have to say much. You know, we just kind of knew where each other were going to be, and and um, that's nice. That's uh, what I'm hoping me and Jamie can get to is where we just know where, where we're going to be at on the ice. And um, um, obviously, he's he's a heck of a player, and he's has the ability to you know skate up the ice and move the puck really well. And uh, I think. Uh, We'll, we'll mesh well here.